Hi guys, Irit here with a new process video for shimmers and this is the layout I will be creating. I had a lot of fun making it. So I pulled out my a little bit dirty uh, jelly plate and yeah this is a really cool uh, tool to play with mixed media. It's really great. Um, I think mostly when you see videos about this then um, people use acrylic paint but um, I used it with some shimmer goodies and it worked really well. So I'm starting with a couple of um, the Dazzler pastes. These are shimmery texture pastes and um, you can see I just apply it with a palette knife. Now they are a little, I mean they are texture paste so obviously they are very very textured. You have to kind of work at it to um, spread it with a brayer. Um, it probably would have worked better if maybe I added a little bit of um, maybe some liquid paint or something like this uh, just because the texture is um, it has like so much texture I usually use it with a stencil uh, but this time I just wanted to play a bit so it worked well it gave like a cool effect um, but it's definitely not the classic way uh, I use these uh, pastes. I just really love the colors. So um, that's why I use them. And you can see, you can check all the details and the exact colors that I used on the blog post. And yeah, I just use a piece of cardstock. Now, because these, um, you don't need to apply a lot of uh, product on these plates, you need a very thin uh, layer of whatever it is, paint or whatever you're using. Uh, and then it dries really fast. And I also didn't prep my cardstock with any gesso and it worked really well. So now I wanted to add some uh, minty color and I'm using um, Oh Say Can You See. Uh, it's a spray, like a colorings, I think. And when you add it to white, in case, in this case, some white paint, uh, you get a really beautiful minty color. Um, so I added that. You can see I didn't spread it all over the um, the jelly plate, and I also ran this really cool roller stamp uh, on it. And you can go on playing like this for hours and hours and make a lot of uh, backgrounds and papers. Um, but what I also did here is besides um, building my background on my cardstock, I also just took some regular printer paper. You see it now on the uh, screen to the left side. Um, and I also um, did some printing just with that regular paper. And I think I mostly meant to clean my plaint, my plaint, my plate <laughs> between <laughs> paints, um, but I end up using it and uh, I really like it. I will go back to that uh, later. So what I also did, I added some sprinkles uh, on the jelly plate and you can see it kind of got all smooshed up and yeah, it really creates a cool look. If you don't have the jelly plate, you can either apply things directly to your background um, you can do the same with the brayer, just uh, work at it. Uh, or use something like a big piece of packaging um, and try that. It won't give you exactly the same effect, but it's also a really fun way to play. And yeah, I'm just trying all kinds of stuff, not really uh, thinking about it, just uh, picking the colors that I like and uh, playing with them. So this is the um, the jelly plate part and next I will assemble my layout. Oh, I'm just I'm playing a bit. I had no idea how this would look. Um, and yeah, you can get some really cool effects. I think the brighter the colors you use, then obviously you get more dramatic effects. Here I was really going with some paler colors, adding some pale gold 
and I had some leftover on the plate, so I just grabbed some uh, die cuts and yeah, dipped them in the <laughs> in the color, and it looks really cool. I didn't use all these pieces pieces on the layout, um, but I used uh, I used the background and the paper there that you see the regular paper. And what I did was, I don't know, one of the um, videos I filmed somehow got uh, corrupted or something and I just couldn't um, add it, so I couldn't make it work. So what I showed in, this, in that video is, you see the scalloped pieces that are now on my layout? Um, I cut these, just freehand cut uh, a bunch of scallops uh, from the printer paper that I colored and then I ran it through my sewing machine, just two uh, layers of this uh, scalloped uh, paper. And what's nice about it is that it's a different texture, um, you know, than the cardstock, uh, but it's also very thin, you know, because it's regular paper, it's thin, so it doesn't add a lot of bulk. And my sewing machine uh, didn't uh, hate me for <laughs> sewing through all these uh, layers. And I just really like all that texture you know and it's just like regular paper so if you don't like what uh the print you made or something you can just uh throw it or um use it i also used it here as uh layers behind my photo so i'm just going to trim a little bit of my white cardstock after also punching it a little for some texture and then i'm going to adhere it to this really beautiful um, like pretty aqua shade of cardstock and there's my photo there I also added this cute um, chipboard flower from Maggie Holmes uh, bloom collection and um, adding some embellishments that was too much um, these are all from the uh, bloom ephemera pack I'm just going to stick with that uh, cute little minty um, die cut that you see there behind my photo and this video is supposed to go live on the 27th if I'm not mistaken and yes and on the 28th I am uh, launching a new online class with Jen Scow, the talented Jen Scow and our class is called Make an Impact and we show you 20 new layouts, 10, each of us created 10 um, projects and process videos. And we're just having a lot of fun and really, I don't know, making some really special um, layouts, I think. I know I used all kinds of techniques that I haven't um used before and it was just a really really fun class to create so if you're interested uh, check that out now this uh, piece of my title the good vibes is from dear lizzie and it's a watercolor paper i think and i just misted it i started with a kind of a generous misting in gold and then I just added bits of pink and mint and I got this really beautiful soft watercolored look again this was in the video that was corrupted uh, but it was very uh, easy and uh, fun to make and that's my layout so check out the blog post for all the specific colors that I used here and if you place an order with shimmers and mention my name you get a free product of your choice so that's a really good deal and here's my finished layout i hope you enjoyed this video and yeah thanks for watching have a lovely day bye bye <laughs>